In this video, we're going to be digging into the archive.php file and the category.php file. So we'll be creating these two documents in this video. So the goal is to show all the posts of an individual author on the archive.php file. And then after that, we're going to go and create a, a category and then display all the, the posts for an individual category on the category.php file. Then once we're done that, then we're going to go and create a list of categories on the end of the category.php file. So let's say, for example, they click on an individual category and it turns out not to be the, the category that they want. They could just navigate to the end of the page and they'll have a whole list of all the different categories. And then they could just click around and find a different category. So we're going to be using these four functions in this video. So uh, let's first go check out the archive.php file. We'll start in on, the, on that. So I'll just move this off this side. And then here, um, usually there's like a hierarchy in WordPress. So let's say, for example, you click on the author and there's no author page or there's no archive.php file, then the index page will be used. If we go back to the front end and here I am on the index page and if I click on the author, it's going to go pull in all the posts for that individual author and that turns out to be the same page actually and we're using the index.php. So once we create that archive.php, that will be used instead of the index page. And what that does is really gives us different ways we can customize it and things like that. So let's go back to that page we were on. Oh, by the way, I'll have all these links down in the description. If you want to just go down there and find them quickly, you can just click on that. So what we're going to do is just create the archive.php. We're not going to even bother creating a author.php file, but just keep in mind you can do that. If you really want to customize your author page, you could do that. So let's go to the code editor. We'll create this page first thing. So let's go create our archive page right in the root. So new file. And it's important that you name it correctly because WordPress recognizes this document. So archive.php and it's stored in our root. Great. So now let's go into our index page so we don't have to type everything out all over again and just copy everything. It's going to be pretty much the same. So control A, control C, and then just throw that right in your archive page. Okay, great. Now we can edit it. We could customize it a little bit, a little bit more. So for, let's go for examples. Let's just start at the top. That'd be fine. So I'm just going to name this archive instead of index now. Okay, great. I changed the class also so I could target it in the CSS then. So let's go down line by line. We'll just go customize it. So um, let's go add in those functions. I'm just going to add it up here at the top. And if I go pull in our cheat sheet here, these two functions I want to use in here. So we're going to pull in these two functions. Let's, so let's go out, look at the documentation. I already have that in the browser. So if we go up to the tab, this is the description one. Let's go to the title one first. And then I'm just going to go and copy the snippets down here. But here's the documentation. If you want to read up on that, just go down in the description, click on the link. And then they got these nice little pieces of snippets down here. You could just copy. So copy this. And then this is just going to put it inside of an H1 tag. Actually, I'm going to change that to an H2 tag, actually. So let's go back to the code editor. Okay, and then up here, I'm just going to put it inside of a PHP tag. And paste. And then I'm going to move or change this to an H2. So it's a little smaller than this one up here. The H1 we got above it. All right. You could always style it, but uh, this would be fine. And then we're going to go and bring in the description. So I'm just going to go back out to the, the description, archive description. And then down here, they got nice pieces of snippet you could just copy. This would be fun, so I'll just copy this. And then go back here again. And then inside of a PHP tag, or actually let's just reuse this one. Okay, great. So this is going to pull in the uh, title and description if there is one. So now if we move, keep moving, now I'm just going to remove the post uh, thumbnail. We don't need that on this page. This page is just going to show the author and also the category. So then this, I'm just going to change to an H4. So uh, it looks a little bit different. Okay. Then moving on. 
let's get rid of this permalink. I was just I just pulled that in just to show you how that would work in the last video. And leave the date, that'd be fine. And then I'm just gonna get rid of the rest of all of this down here. And that's fine. And then get rid of the sidebar too. We can always pull that back in if we want that a little later. Okay, great. So let's go up here and just copy this. And then I'm just going to go and pull up our CSS. And then I'm just going to time lapse this, but let's just add a border and some color to our H2. So I'll just go and uh, paste that down here. Our class. Okay, save it. So same old, same old, I just added a color to our H1 and also a border around our entire uh, archive section. So let's go to the front end and check it out, see what it looks like in the browser. Before when we would click on the author or the category, the index.php file would handle that. But now that we created the archive.php file, that page should handle the author and the category. So let's go click on the author. And great, as you can see, tell the archive.php file is handling it now. And then that function we added at the top, the archive title, I think it was called, this one, that is this right here at the top. So that function is handling that. Now the description is not being pulled in because we have not created a description for our categories or our author. So that won't be being pulled in on this one. So if we go back and we click on the category link, the same page we should get. So great, our archive.php file is handling that. So now if we go back to the documentation, so now that we have an archive.php file, now what we're gonna do is create a category.php file. And now when we click on that category link, this file should pick it up instead of the archive.php file. So let's go back to the code editor, create the category.php file. So like we did in the archive page, we're just gonna create it right in the root, new file. It's important that you name it correctly because WordPress is going to recognize this document. So PHP. And then I'm just going to copy uh, what's in the archive page because it's going to be pretty much similar. So control A, control C, and just paste that right in your category page. Okay. And also you want to store it at the root because WordPress could pick it up there. So now we'll just start at the top and work our way down. I'm just going to change this class to category so we could change the styles to it. And also change the H1. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of these functions. We're not going to use that in this, this page. And then we're going to go out to the checklist that I got and pull in this function right here. Now, this should give us the, the category title name. And let's actually go check that out in the documentation. So we go pull up the browser. And I have uh, this page, the template tags, and you want to navigate down to the category tag section. And here are a bunch of really good uh, functions you could use for the categories. So in this video, we'll use the single cat title and also the uh, list categories. So this will give us a list of categories at the end of the page that they could go click on different categories. That'd be great. And actually, let's go ahead and I didn't write this down on our checklist, but let's go ahead and use this function also. This will display the description of the category if there is one. But let's first start on the single cat, that'd be good. So open that in a new tab. And if you wanna read on the documentation, uh, this is a great place for it, but I'm just gonna go down and grab the snippet down here. Uh, this one right here, that'd be good. So copy that. And then we'll just go paste that back into our page. And actually, I can just get rid of this. Okay, great. So let's go and uh, grab the description now. So I'm just going to go back to the browser, close down this link. We don't need that anymore. And then I'm just go back to, to your template tags. And I'm just going to open this one up in a new, new link. Now this functions for pulling in our description of our category. So uh, I'm just going to grab a snippet down here. Actually, this looks good. Just copy this. This is actually the same function we just pulled in actually. So let's just go reuse this one. Actually copy that. And then just go here and I'm just going to get rid of this and just uh, paste this in. So um, now that that's done, let's go and add our list on the bottom down here. 
So let's go back to the browser. And I'm just going to X out of this one. And now we're going to use this WP list category. So open that in a new tab. And down here, they have a lot of really good snippets. If you want to customize, like, by alphabetically order or anything like that, I highly recommend you could check all these out. It gives you a lot of really great ideas. But I'm going to keep it real basic and simple. So I'm just going to go copy this. And let's just go and back to our code editor. Down here towards the end, I'm just going to throw this right here within the section tag. That'd be good. And move these in. Okay, great. So now what we did is we really customized our category page. And that, that's really great by creating a category.php file. You could really customize it and make it different than all your other pages. So that's really nice. So let's go to the front end and check out our brand new category page and see how it looks. So now instead of our archive.php file handling the categories, our category.php file should be handling it. So if we click on categories, okay, great. So now as you can see, our category.php file is handling it. And then our function that we entered at the top is giving us the, the category name. That's great. And it's showing us all the categories. So here is it's going to show you a whole list of categories. And uh, we currently have five posts inside of this one category. And we currently only have one category. So let's first go to the dashboard. And we're going to go and create some descriptions for our categories. Some of them anyways. And we'll create a couple more categories. And then also, I'm going to go back to the style sheet and add a color to this so it sticks out a little bit more. So let's go back to our style sheet first thing. And let's just go open up our CSS file. Oh, here it is. Then down here, I'm just going to throw a couple styles in. Okay, great. So just save that. And then if we go back and refresh it, And our styles are not kicking in. So I'm just going to go over here, clean out our browsing data. Okay, great. Let's go back here, refresh it. Okay, now it's kicking in. All right, so um, now let's go and add a couple more categories in the dashboard and also add some descriptions. So just go down to post and then pick any post you want, edit. Then over here, add a new category over here on the right. Now, I guess I'll just call this loop or anything or function or anything. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so we now we have a category called function. So now if we go back here on the left and click on categories, we should get a list of all our categories. And let's go and edit this one category. And I'm going to just add a description. And this should show up now in our category.php. So I'm just going to write, this is a description. Okay, great. Make sure you save it or update it. Okay, so we added another category and we we added a description. And did I add it to this post actually? Let me just double check that. And no, I didn't. So let's just unclick this and click on our new category and make sure we update that. Okay, great. So now if we go back to the front end and refresh our category page, we should have a couple categories down here. And as you can see, that one post was removed. So let's go click on that one. There's one post in that, that category. And it's showing us that one post. And we click back here. Great, it's working. So if we go back to our checklist, we finished everything on our checklist here and we used all these. So now in the next video, we're going to be creating post formats. So I'll see you then.